Lauren Hill became a different person after she was arrested for tax evasion and briefly left the music industry. Overwhelmed by the pressures of fame, hip-hop legend Lauren Hill retreated from the music scene and never returned. Widely regarded as one of the greatest rappers of all time, Lauren Hill all but single-handedly revolutionized the 90s hip-hop scene. After rising to fame as an actress and frontline of the popular hip-hop group The Fugees, Hill went on to release her solo debut, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. The album became a massive success, moving nearly half a million copies in its opening week and snagging a mind-blowing five Grammy Awards at the 41st Annual Grammy Awards, a record-shattering feat back then. With a start that promising, Lauren Hill seemed destined to go head-to-head -head with legends like Aretha Franklin and Stevie Wonder. But just as the world was hers for the taking, Hill ghosted the music industry. Except for a sparse handful of singles, the lauded rapper hasn't dropped anything that could even remotely hold a candle to her wildly successful debut solo album. Although, Hill recently announced a solo 25th anniversary tour, according to The Guardian. But here's why Hill abruptly left the music scene to begin with. Lauren Hill was responsible for one of the best-selling albums of the 90s. Credited with inspiring musical powerhouses like Rihanna, Drake, Kanye West, and Cardi B, Lauren Hill is one of the greatest rappers alive. Bursting onto the scene as a frontline of the popular hip-hop group The Fugees, Hill went on to make a name for herself as a rapper and vocalist, lending her talents to timeless hits like Killing Me Softly, Ready or Not, and The Score. The now 48-year-old also made a notable impact in the acting scene, starring in the 1993 sequel to Sister Act, titled Sister Act, Back in the Habit. But it wasn't until she released her debut album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, that her career really took off. With record copies practically flying off the shelves, Miseducation became one of the biggest albums of the 90s. It, therefore, came as no surprise when Hill shattered records at the 1999 Grammy Awards, becoming the first woman to be nominated in 10 categories in a single year. But the accolades didn't stop there. Just a few months later, Hill secured an impressive four awards at the 30th annual NAACP Awards, and at just 23 years old, became the youngest woman ever to be included in Ebony Magazine's prestigious list of 100-plus most influential black Americans. Lauren Hill had to serve three months in prison after getting arrested for tax evasion. Regrettably, along with her newfound fame came a bundle of legal problems. Even before her monumental triumph at the Grammys, Hill was already facing lawsuits from musicians Veda Nobles, Rasheem Pugh, and Johari Newton, who accused her of using their songs and production skills in her miseducation album and failing to properly credit them for their work. Although the lawsuit was eventually settled for $5 million, it didn't mark the end of Hill's troubles. Just a year after her debut solo album shattered records at the Grammys, Hill began grappling with the pressures of her sudden stardom, eventually opting to step away from the public eye. I had to step away when I realized that for the sake of the machine, I was being way too compromised, she told Essence of her self-imposed exile in 2020. I felt uncomfortable about having to smile in someone's face when I really didn't like them or even know them well enough to like them. I thought it was okay for me to write a song about something complicated if I was going through something complicated. But I discovered people could only acknowledge red and blue, and I was somewhere between. I was purple. That's all for today's video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.